Hello Fez Wearers. In this Doctor Who themed map, you first spawn in this building on Earth, but there's a lot more here than meets the eye. Like this unit base, Dalek ships in space, the Shadow Proclamation, Trenzalore, and literal Gallifrey. And there's even been a recent update to the map, but I'll talk about all that in a second, I just want to focus on Earth for a minute. So yeah, you spawn in a pretty unremarkable building in the normal looking Earth-like area. And to be fair, it is. However, if you just turn this corner, the first sign something's a bit weird here is this Ironside Cafe sign, which is a very niche reference to Doctor Who, but nonetheless a reference to Doctor Who. And if you just look to your right and go forward a bit, you'll see a literal unit base. And this is actually really cool. It's also been updated quite a lot. To get to it, you just gotta go around here and then through this fence. Before we go into the main unit building, I want to show you this vehicle hangar. This was added in the recent update, and before this was just like a really random, weird, empty space. But now this is here, it kind of feels like a whole thing and an actual base, not just a building with fences around it. And because it links up to the road, you can actually drive vehicles into here. Like the Jeep, for instance. You can actually, it fits perfectly if you can actually drive. There you are. Apart from that, it doesn't have a lot of purpose. It just looks really cool and I'm glad it's here. However, the main unit building's a lot more interesting. The ground floor isn't really anything amazing. It's just got some computers and things. However, this is where it gets special. Before the recent update, this was just a random lift and it was a bit buggy and Sonic just didn't work. But now it's been turned into a sleek staircase and to get into it, you actually have to use the Sonic screwdriver. And that's just a really good example of how this maps are like a playing ground for Doctor Who mods like the Sonic and the TARDIS, but I'll come back to that later on. So if you go down here, eventually, you'll get to this little room with a large metal door, which once again can only be over the Sonic. And then there's this random computer, which just seems odd. And this whole room just seems a bit random, but like, what are you gonna do about it really? And there's another Sonic door. And this is the main area. And it's like a sort of testing slash prison thing. It has some things you'd probably expect, like a main computer hub area. Cells and testing areas. More random technology stuff. And a lot of unit logos. But to be honest, if it weren't for the abundance of unit logos literally everywhere to remind you this is supposed to be a unit building, then it could easily be mistaken as just some random tech field building. Which is a bit of a bummer. But to be fair, it'd be really hard to replicate the unit base. Because it just changes so often. It could just be a big house. The literal Tower of London or an Avengers skyscraper. There's so many different versions of it that you could believe this being one, and it really just works well with the map setting. There are some other cool things on earth on this map, like almost every building having an interior, with a lot of them being quite random like this church, but there's nothing else directly Doctor Who related. So let's move on from the blue planet, and before we talk about other planets like Trenzalore or Gallifrey, let's talk about all the space in between, and by space, well, I mean space and all the cool stuff in it. I mean straight away you can see just how big this map really is. It's kind of crazy and because of that the TARDIS mod is really cool on this map but I'll demonstrate that near the end. Just for now I want to show you all the stuff in this map like the various ships dotted all around the place, moons, suns, planets, asteroids, literally everything. This has so much to it. Firstly, there are these Dalek ships, which are animated like really well. You can look at it from almost every angle and it just looks even better. They look so recognisable, but still quite simplistic, which is a good thing. And they're orbiting this red planet, which I'm assuming to be Scaro, just because the outside texture looks like Scaro did in the TV movie, and then the inside looks like Scaro from Asylum of the Daleks. So that actually makes quite a lot of sense to be Scaro now I think about it. So that's actually pretty cool. Something else that I personally find really cool is the Shadow Proclamation here. This was seen in the Series 4 finale and the opener of Series 9, but it has always been alluded to ever since the very first episode of New Who, so I'm glad it's been added to this map because it's quite important to the show. The outside of it, and by that I mean the actual rocks, the buildings, and the lighting, is all really good. The lighting's a big one for me because this is a very, like, colourful thing, and the reflections of this turquoise colour on the rocks looks brilliant. Obviously it's not 100% accurate to the one seen in the show, as that had buildings on these other two rocks, and a lot more buildings on the main one, but it doesn't need to be the exact same, because well, A, it's still very recognisable, but B, it's literally just a Gmod map, it doesn't need to be a one-to-one. -one. The interior for this is quite small, basically just having a staircase and some cells down here, 
which to be fair looked quite cool. But to be fair, the actual interior for the one seen in the show is such an anticlimax. It had a really good looking CGI shot of the outside floating in space, but then the inside is just like a white room, and that's something I'll never forgive the BBC for doing. However, something I really love in Doctor Who is Trenzalore, specifically Trenzalore and the name of the Doctor, and as you can see, that's on this map too. And the biggest thing here is the TARDIS quite literally. And it doesn't disappoint. It looks so grand from down here, especially because the base of it's in a bit of a higher terrain. It just makes it that much bigger and looks so much more important. The only thing I would add is like a crack on this window, or just some general wear and tear, because that's what it had in The Name of the Doctor. But that is a bit of a nitpick, to be fair. Overall, Trenzor looks great. Even the small things, like these graves literally everywhere, and this one specifically saying River Song, again referencing the episode, but also the very uneven ground, which just helps to make this place feel a bit more like dark and dreary. Not to mention how good the outside texture for this planet looks, that's really good. But I'm probably like the only person who cares about Soyuz 7B this much, so let's move on to Gallifrey. And also if anyone knows what this green planet is meant to be, please let me know in the comments. I can maybe assume it's something stupid like Grassicolico Falibatorius, just because it's green, or I guess it could be Clom. God, I don't even think of this stuff. But yeah, Gallifrey is 100% the most standout thing on this map. It isn't as dense and practical as the other planets, per se, but it's definitely the most unique and just cool. You don't really see many Doctor Who maps, and when you do, it's normally just Gallifrey. So for this one to have this good of a Gallifrey, as well as literally everything else I've showed you so far, is just beyond me. The Citadel, this big building here, is always the most iconic thing on Gallifrey, and it's always the thing that's shown when Gallifrey appears in Doctor Who. So obviously it's been put on this map, and it's been done pretty well. And I also just want to quickly mention this barn over here, because it became just as recognisable as that in the Moffat era. Because it became just as recognisable as that in the Moffat era after the 50th anniversary. And as you may be able to tell, the Moffat era, which is the 11th and 12th Doctors if you don't know, is one of, if not the best Doctor Who eras in my opinion. So this means quite a bit to me. However, the barn's actually a bit broken at the minute. So if I open this door, you see that it's all like really black and weird and there's actually like a lighting glitch in here. But normally in here it looks really like aesthetic and really cool. Which sounds stupid now you're looking at it like this. But it may even be fixed by the time you're watching this. I mean you can get a glimpse of that if you just go over here. And to be fair this end bit is like the most important anyway. And whilst we're talking about important, I'm just going to mention where this map came from. It's from a Doctor Who roleplay server called Full Moon Networks. The links to their Gmod and Discord servers are in the pinned comment as well as the map itself. If you have any issues with the map I would ask in their Discord not me because because I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest. Anyway, let's actually talk about this thing finally. Because it's definitely the most significant thing in this whole map. At least to me it is. And I mean just take a second to look at it. It's so massive. It's really tall and it's really wide. And it just dominates the whole planetary area here. It does a really good job of capturing the mystery and novelty of Gallifrey in general. And they've made it into Gmod really well. But just a small little thing that's kind of annoying here. Is this platform. It's just too high to jump up. It doesn't matter where you try and jump from. It's just a little bit too tall. So you either have to use a TARDIS to get up there, or just use no clip, which is a bit annoying, but it doesn't really matter too much. And although it is this like really big monumental structure thing, obviously there's nowhere near enough space in this Gmod map for it to be as detailed as it's seen on the show. But also because the inside of this building has only been seen like once or twice, and I wasn't really clear which part of it it was. But it'll be like that with most things in something as expansive as Doctor Who. The entrance here is just a big metal sheet door, which once again can only be opened with the Sonic, and it has quite a satisfying sound. Down. Just listen. I don't know why I like that so much. And then the inside is just this large empty room with this raised platform in the middle. And that is actually a lift. And if you stand on it, it brings you up to the next floor. Which is the same sort of thing, but it has a bit more detail with these pillars. And even a view into the rest of Gallifrey. Which, to be fair, isn't much of a view, but you get what I mean. But if you stand on the centre bit, You'll keep going past this second floor. Up to the third and final floor. Which is basically the same as the other one, just a bit smaller with a domed roof. But it also has another view of Gallifrey. Except the windows are just too high so you can't really see out of them, which is a bit of an oversight. Quite literally. And for the record, you can also use a Sonic on this lift. That's basically all there is to say about the map itself. But I do want to go over how this map links really well with the Sonic Screwdriver mod, which I've already shown you a bit. But mainly the TARDIS add-on. 
So if we go back to Earth, you can see what I mean. When you think about the TARDIS, your mind will immediately go to time and space travel. Now obviously time travel will be very complicated in Gmod. Of course, there are add-ons for it, but that's for another video. The main focus for the TARDIS add-on is space travel, which literally means the travel from one place to another, not necessarily actual space. But with this map, you can actually use this TARDIS to manually fly from one planet to another through space. Not to mention all the planets and moons and satellites and spaceships and everything. It's all one big sci-fi soup. And there are other maps that have stuff like this, but this one's ultra special because it's just focused on Doctor Who. I say focus because there are some things that as far as I'm aware are just random science fiction things, like this spaceship. But even this does link to Doctor Who because it has this sort of docking area for the TARDIS. So if I go in here, I can then land. And then there's this ramp over here, and if you go up it, you're going to this spaceship cockpit area. So yeah, unless I'm really stupid, this has nothing to do with Doctor Who. And that sounds like a bad thing, but it's actually quite a good thing, because it adds some more variety. And because this is from an RP server, you've got to have things like that. That also means it links really well with the TARDIS, in a whole bunch of different situations. You could invade unit, crash that Trenzalor, escape Gallifrey, confront the Shadow Proclamation, or literally anything you want. But if we just take our focus away from the TARDIS, and think about the Sonic Screwdriver, there's loads of different opportunities with this thing. And if you want to know more about the Sonic Screwdriver add-on, watch my full review of it here. It's had quite a big update recently, and there's lots of cool stuff.